Sometimes I remember that I own Sims 4, and that is usually a bad thing, because, you know, I sit down and I go, what can I make in Sims 4, and then and then I made Ariana and Elster in Sims 4 because I can. This is a little chaotic. You know, it is great being able to make our beautiful little lovebirds in a situation and scenario in which they're not constantly on the brink of death, but it is also quite a little bit insane. So, today's video, we're going to have Elster and Ariane in The Sims. I hope you guys enjoy. So let's start off with the basics. We got the character creation process, and as you can see, I've got Elster in all her little fancy little outfits here. I decided to make Elster have more of a stronger build, um, but I, you know, called her Elster 512 because I couldn't think of a really good last name for her. I kind of felt like replica. It felt weird, but you know, 512 does as well. And when I was thinking about the perks, I tried to make her very family oriented. You know, she loves Arianne so much. She's just a big Arianne fan. She really loves her family, which is Arianne. I don't know. I felt like that kind of worked. I also gave her more athletic perks because I felt like out of the two of them, you know, the one that sprints around the entirety of S23 is going to be the more athletic one than, you know, the painter. Um, and, and I just kind of felt like that worked. And then we got Ariane, who also, much like Elster, you know, is made in The Sims now and also had a bunch of outfits that I decided to make for her. Uh, I was helped in this process by my sister because my sister's actually good at this game and I have no clue what I'm doing. I uh, there's the little white dress, you know, the white dress. We love the white dress. That good, good things. The white dress totally isn't a herald of the apocalypse. Now, looking at these perks, we made her very painting, very, you know, creative aspect oriented. She likes her art. She likes her crafts. You know, show her to an art, your elementary art school teacher, and they're basically the same person. I mean, what's the big difference? I don't know any big difference. They look the same to me. But yeah, now we have these adorable couple, you know, doing adorable couple things. We, we just love them. We love them in their, in their natural environment of being adorable and hanging out together. And rather than the environment we usually see them in, which is them dying. Um, so I decided to send them off to work. Uh, obviously, they have to work for NASA. They're just, they're little astronauts. Um, but, but here's the thing. When people are at work, it's really boring. So I had them come home and I was like, bro, let's just throw a honeymoon. Let's, let's just get them married. Um, because why not? So we, we, we got them a nice little, little house. My sister built a custom house for them with a pool and it was great. It was great. You know, Ariane swimming around the pool, having the time of her life. And, uh, Elster is just making, making alcoholic beverages because, you know, that kind of feels like what Elster would do. Uh, and I was also kind of like just admiring this house that my sister designed because it was, it was something. It was definitely something. I also felt like out of the two of them, Elster was going to be the one to do the chores, so she's going to be, like, the cook and stuff. I don't really see Arianne being, like, cook. I, I kind of feel like Arianne would just spend all her time being like, oh my god, listen to this song of the son of Rav. And then she's like, oh my god, look at this sandwich I made. I, I kind of felt like that was the more Arianne vibes. I also got them to do adorable things where they, they, they swam together. Isn't that so cute? Ain't that so cute? Ain't that so precious? Little, little... Our little main characters doing something adorable rather than violent death? What is this? This ain't Signalis. Yeah, no, it's Sims 4. But, it, you know, why not? Why not? Why not let Elster, you know, achieve those dreams she always had of being a mixologist that was totally established in the lore? I would know. I make lore videos. Or, you know, the cook. Yeah, totally. There's totally a document that suggests that's something Ari Elster would want to do. While Ariane just, you know, gives her support from the sidelines. See, but th then we came into a problem. Um, we forgot doors on the bedroom and bathroom. Minor issue, you know. Who needs doors? Who needs doors? So we couldn't get into the rooms. Um, so when they needed to go to the bathroom or go to sleep, we kind of had an issue. There was the couch, but the couch isn't where you sleep on a honeymoon. So, you know, we did what any great intellectual would do. Took some pictures in the, in the dream house. And then we went to our neighbor's house because, you know, they have bathrooms, they have proper doors. It just so happened that our neighbor's house happened to be a giant villa who's owned by this goth family. 
No clue. Really no clue. We didn't set this up, by the way. This isn't like something we like scripted. It, it just happened to auto spawn this way. I don't know if I'm complaining. I think I am complaining. It's a little weird why they have this three-storied house that's owned by the goth family but it doesn't matter they had a bathroom we can take a shower now we hadn't been able to take a shower since the uh the honeymoon had begun and so now you know take a shower relax you know sit back put on the hot water listen to some music perfection you know nothing could go wrong it really couldn't so then it managed to uh, somehow go wrong uh because somehow elster managed to lock herself in the bathroom we still weren't really sure why that happened, what happened, but basically Elster couldn't leave. We still had Arion, so we were like, okay, you know, Arion needs sleep. Let's just let Arion get some of that sleep she deserves while her soulmate is stuck in the bathroom. You know, Elster will figure it out. Either the door will get broken or it won't get broken and we'll have to call the fire department. Either way, it's all bueno, no problems, it's honeymoon, vacation, remember the promise, the promise was enjoy the vacation that we spent 2,500, you know, simoleons on, I don't know how much that is in real currency, but I feel like it's a lot, so we were trying to figure out how to get Elster out, you know, as one does when your character is stuck in a bathroom, and we didn't really have any real ideas, it was also lagging uh, the game a lot, the, the act of sticking her in the bathroom, just a lot of things were working against us at this point. And we're trying to hit all these buttons. We're trying to see what we can do. Elster isn't listening to us. The door is still broken. We have no clue why the door is broken. You know, it is what it is. So some time passed. Uh, Elster had done a lot of push-ups, a lot of pull-ups, a lot of exercises. We had gone partially insane. And we came up with the idea of maybe just letting Arion leave and then maybe trying to teleport Elster to her. I don't know. It seemed like a good idea on paper. I didn't really see any problems with it, and it, and it worked in the end. It, it actually, you know, teleported uh, Elster away from the trap bathroom. We also had a new solution for the bathroom issues, which was going outside, because we couldn't go back inside Goth House. That wasn't going to work. Um, Arion, at the same time, also uh, gave no shits that sh her love mate was having bathroom issues and being unable to find a bathroom to use. Um, but a after some deciding, we decided the honeymoon kind of needed to end. The, the lack of bathrooms and lack of beds was starting to get to us. So we returned home, and uh, everything was good. And that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this chaotic whatever this was.